After cloud computing, what's the next digital bandwagon for companies to jump on to accelerate their businesses even further? It's big data! I mean, this is massive, colossal, huge, big chunks of data, structured and unstructured. It's a universe of everything and anything measurable on the web, based on every user's recorded activity and behaviour online, from clicks, to addresses, to searches, to purchases. What is it good for? Well, the more insight you have in your customers' lifestyle and patterns, the better you know how to improve your product and services to give them exactly what they want. Question is, how do you extract that from the overwhelming amount of information? But first, let's get to know some benefits of big data analytics. Knowing people's patterns online helps you establish a better relationship with today's customers. It pays off to be able to profile a product or service as accurately as possible so you can engage them and predict their wants and needs. It could just lead you to a new source of revenue. Shazam, the famous app that helps identify songs, helps record labels to sign up and remarket artists that match the demands of the app's users. Governments and private sectors can even use it to improve the lives of citizens. Countries like the US and Spain use big data to optimize their city infrastructure and save costs. Now back to the question. How do you understand, crunch and draw the right insight from the billions of information gathered through big data so that you only work with the ones that count? We speak to FusionX, a company that specializes in analytics and big data. So big data is an incredibly hot topic. It's one of those terms that has reached the top of its hype cycle. So normally when we share with, um, you know, with people, with organizations, what big data is all about, we, we try to explain to them that it's not just about the sheer size of the data, but it's more about the, the value that you can um, derive through insights from big data. It's not about whether you have uh, 100,000 records or 10,000 records or a million records. More importantly, how do you use that data because data tells a story. In other words, it's about analyzing the data, finding that insights, helping organizations make better and more well-informed decisions. Well, I think that big data analytics is no longer a luxury. It is a situation where organizations either have the capability to do big data analytics, understanding their data, rather than just using what we call a gut feel. So gone are the days where people can just sit back, lay back and just say that, I think this is what's happening to the landscape. But I think it's more important today that people understand their data to be able to find that if there's a dip in sales, why is there a dip in sales? As a business, it's really essential and really crucial for them to understand the reasons behind this and to be able to ask the right questions to get the right answers will actually help organizations to not only survive but to thrive and have that competitive edge against their competitors. So the notion that I don't know what I don't know is no longer good enough. I think there are a couple of questions that any organization today be, uh, before they embark on a big data journey should really seriously consider. For example, um, the only way we can do big data analytics if is that organization has data in the first place. And probably more importantly, what am I trying to get out of my data? If the organization doesn't have data, for instance, if you don't have customer data, if you don't have sales related data, if you don't have a customer relationship management system or a cash machine or an ATM machine and things like that, or if you don't have an ERP system, we first need to solve the, the first step of the problem, which is to ensure that we have a data collection mechanism. We've helped many organizations um, to realize true value from big data analytics. Some of the examples actually range from a multitude of different industries. For uh, a huge hypermarket and for many of the retail outlets, what we've done for them is to use big data analytics to understand customer behavioral patterns. So whenever they see and they run a certain campaign, they can check and monitor and track the effectiveness of a certain campaign. Again, there are many use cases that we've helped organizations to have predictive analytics capabilities. So it's not just about the descriptive analytics, which is what happened, and that's normally historical. It's not just about um, diagnostic analytics to understand why it happened, but it's more about predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. What that means is that we help them predict potential downtime so that they can avoid the situation of undesired downtime, which is very, very costly and painful. So they can take um, preemptive measures and they can do things in a more proactive way rather than reacting to a certain disaster or unnecessary downtime. Big data analytics is not just for one specific vertical or an industry. It can be used across any industry. It can be used across multiple sectors, whether it's private or public sector. We're also working with governments in different countries. 
where we take a look at smart cities, where we take a look at smart nations. For instance, um, in the transportation sector, in the public transportation area, you can understand the data to better plan you know, the timeliness of the transportation, whether it's trains, whether it's buses, whether it's taxis, to help the city function in a, in a smarter and more intelligent way. And of course, from a healthcare perspective, epidemic outbreak, there are very clear patterns that you can see when there is an infectious disease that is spreading across a certain radius, where is it originating from, and how do we actually contain this kind of uh, epidemic outbreak before it spreads further. It's our view that uh, at Fusion X that we see big data as uh, a great opportunity for organizations, for people, for governments, and for any entity to take a look at big data as a great opportunity that they could capitalize on. The potential is, I would say, boundless. Big data analytics is not just a one-time thing. It's a journey. We genuinely believe that big data can help almost every organization out there. With the right questions and the right applications, the world of big data allows us to play a much bigger game. It's amazing how a simple technological shift can change your perspective in large scales. Speaking of which, how far would you go to shift your career, even if it meant programming softwares and websites by yourself? In the next and final episode, we decode your resume.